Roger Casement was a was a was absolutely he was something else really. And, and in fact, my original launch was to be on the anniversary of of, of the hanging of, of of Roger Casement on the third of um, August in uh, in Pentonville Jail, but. Uh, Roger Casement really put his neck out on the line and um, you know he he lost everything I know all those men did but Roger Casement stands out really as one of the outstanding patriots we ever had um, in a lot of ways he reminds me of Father Michal McGrail <laughs> but I don't think you know, So, um, um, <laughs> the, 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 the thing about the guns landing and, and, and the, the, the story of Roger Casement hasn't been really uh, told really at all or, you know, I often wonder about our, our media, only for T.G. Catter, like, you know, we, we, we've been filled a, a lot of, you know, buzz, a lot of rubbish. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can't think that, you know, we should be more turned to T.G. Cahill than we should be. Yeah. You know, there's an awful lot of spin out there. And we, we, we get it. We get it down here. We get the tail end of it. We sort of... A, but a, what was said, a lot of stuff that was said about Roger Casement was to what we went through and false. But they were after Roger Casement or to get him. But the plan was that he did try and he, when he landed down there on the Banner Strand, he was a broken man. And like, you know, any other man would have escaped. Like, he, he went to McKenna's Fort and he, he waited for hopefully someone would pick him up. But really, if he just started to walk anywhere, he would have got away. But he waited there and he was picked up by the RIC. But the German <coughs> rifles were really Russian rejects. It was a good job, in one sense, that they were never got into the hands of the volunteers because they were single-shot Mausers. And they were taken from the, the Eastern Front by the, um, the German army from the Russians. And they gave the Russians an awful hammer. But these guns were absolutely, they were more danger to the volunteers. But the way it all fell, it just, it worked out perfect. There was the minimum amount of people executed. And uh, the maximum amount of people put away in prisons. It just worked a treat. Um, the plan was to land the, the weapons and bring them in at Fiennes and bring them across to Trolley and bring them up through Limerick and to, to disperse them from Athenry. And that's where the Athenry factor came in. They were going to disperse the guns right around to the north, to the west and into the east. And they were to hold, the plan was to hold the Shannon line on the west, but these plans were, people said, you know, they were, they, those plans were there. And it was, the, the man that was really behind those was, was Roger Casement and um, Joseph Mary Blunkett. They were the, the planners. It didn't go to plan, but maybe it, it, it was a godsend because it would have only given the British Army the opportunity to pound every town in the west of Ireland. And... Uh, it, this is the way it worked out, and uh, we can thank uh, Roger Casement came in to call it off, really. This is a song called uh, the, Bannist, the Lonely Banner Strand, and I say, Joe Keary is down there, and the last time I played this was on, on Inish Turk, and uh, uh, we were sleeping in the same room, not in the same bed. <laughs> so Joe wakes up in the morning about nine o'clock before the ferry and he says to me, you know Charlie, he says, the song you were singing there last night, The Lonely Banner Strand, he says, um, he said, uh, you know, it was on Good Friday morning, on a cold bright April day, he changed it to that, it was on the very early month of May, it was it was all wrong, like, you know, but he puts in this one. I, I think this is fantastic. This is, this is really finishes that song for me. Twice. 
was on Good Friday morning All in April day A German ship was signalling Beyond doubt in the bay We had 20,000 rifles already far to land But no answering signal did come from the lonely Lannistrand No signal answer from the shore Sir Roger sadly said No comrades here to meet me Alas, they must be dead But I must do my duty And at once I mean to land So in a small boat Rode ashore on the lonely and the strand I see were hunting far Sir Roger high and low They found him at McKenna's fort Said they you are our foe Says he I'm Roger Casement and I come to my native land I mean to free my countrymen on the lonely Balistrand. Ah, they took Sir Roger prisoner, they sailed to London town. And in the tower they laid him, a traitor to the crown. Says he, I am no traitor, but his trial he had to stand For bringing German rifles to the lonely Balistrand T'was in an English prison that they led him to his death I'm dying for my country, he said with his last breath They buried him in British soil Far from his native home And the wild waves sing his requiem On the lonely Bannistrand They took Sir Roger home again In the year 65 and with these comrades of sixteen in peace and tranquil life, his last fond wish it was fulfilled for to lie in his native land. And the wild waves roll in peace again on the lonely Bannistrand.